Hey gang, Tim here at Core Electronics, and today we'll get you right into taking pictures and videos with the new Bullseye Raspberry Pi OS. With the newest Raspberry Pi OS release, Debian version 11, codename Bullseye, there have been some changes to the terminal commands which control cameras. This has occurred as the old, less open source camera package has been replaced with the new, more open source lib camera package. As a user, basically what this means is that the old camera commands raspy still and raspy cam have been replaced with lib camera dash still and lib camera dash vid. There have also been some additional changes to the run on settings as well. So this guide is gonna solely focus on these new commands available to you with this new release. These camera commands will work with any camera module for any Raspberry Pi. The setup on the table with me now is a high quality camera module with a six millimeter wide angle camera lens attached to a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. What you need, connecting the camera hardware, the initial configuration and focusing the lens has all been well covered in a previous video. Link to that down below in the description. To confirm everything is set up correctly, the lib camera package has a great test command to specifically do just this. Open up a new terminal window, just like so, and type libcamera-hello. Then, as soon as you press enter on your keyboard, it opens up a preview window for five seconds, showing exactly what the camera is seeing. Next, to manually adjust camera lenses, it is very useful to have the camera preview stay open permanently. To do this, type and enter the following into the terminal, libcamera-hello-t space zero. Doing this will give you all the time you need to fix up your aperture and focus. Also, take a second here to notice the top of the preview window. Current exposure values, digital gain, frames per second, and analog gain are all values that it displays live. The preview can be halted by either clicking the preview window's close button or holding control and pressing C with the terminal selected. So with this setup confirmed working, let's start taking our first photos. In this case, we're gonna take a simple JPEG photo. Type the following into the terminal, libcamera-jpeg-o, we're gonna name it first photo.jpeg. The dash o run on setting decides what the file is gonna be named as. So as soon as you press enter, you're gonna see the preview window open up just for a little bit, showing live what the camera is seeing and demonstrating the internal adjustments it's making. Then it's gonna take a photo. This photo is saved in the home Pi directory, as you can see right here. Now keep in mind, each time you run this exact line, it's gonna overwrite the old image and replace this currently saved image with a new one. And this is what the first image looks like. Using the high quality module like this produces a JPEG file with the max pixel size, which is 4,056 by 3,040. The best part of this new photo system is how much more direct control you have over camera factors like setting exposure times, encoding settings, focusing on regions of interest, sharpness, contrast, gain, and much more. To see an exhaustive list of everything you can do with this new lib camera package, check out the official Raspberry Pi documentation, which I've linked down in the description, or type and enter libcamera-jpeg-h into the terminal, and then you'll be able to see an overview of some of these settings. As a sample of some of the settings that you can do, type and enter the following into your terminal. libcamera-jpeg-o secondphoto.jpeg-t 6000-vflip-hflip-width 1920-height 1080. I'm gonna press enter on it right now. This command has done a couple of things differently than before. The dash t6000 will make the photo be taken six thousand milliseconds after the preview window is opened. The dash dash V flip will mirror the image along the vertical axis and the dash dash H flip will mirror the image along the horizontal axis. The dash dash width 1920 and the dash dash height 1080 will make the outputted image be a full HD resolution. These are the two settings that define the resolution of the outputted image. And you can see all this in the resulting photo those features were prevalent in the previous package, but now there's a whole bunch more control when it comes to encoding. For instance, let's make a PNG image by typing and entering the following line. libcamera-still-epng-o-test.png. 
Finally, before we move on to video capturing, I will demonstrate how to create a time lapse and have each of the images captured have the date time format stamped to it as the file name. Type and enter the following into your terminal libcamera still t 60,000 time lapse 10,000 date time. As soon as we press enter, you'll see the preview window open up and it's going to take five JPEG images over one minute at full resolution. The dash T60,000 means the time lapse period is going to be that one minute. The dash dash time lapse determines the millisecond time between each image. As we set it at 10,000, that means it will take 10 seconds between each image. And the dash dash date time makes the system label each of the time lapse images with a current date time format. And here are all the images taken from this time lapse, each of them labeled correctly. With taking photos covered, it is now time to look at video capturing. Same as before, the lib camera package has a whole bunch of settings available to it. Starting off, let's take our first 10 second video. Type out the following, lib camera dash vid dash t one thousand dash o first video dot h264. As you can see, this then shows a preview window and creates a 10 second video. It's saved in the same home Pi directory as first video. The Raspberry Pi camera does not have a microphone, so the videos you're capturing like this are not going to have sound. You can simply control the captured resolution of your video along with heaps of other settings. Type and enter libcamera-video-h into the terminal to see all of those settings and all the encodings available. For instance, by adding dash dash width 640 and dash dash height 480 to the previous video, you're gonna get a much lower pixel density to your video. This new camera package has also provided a whole bunch of streaming capabilities allowing you to stream video over your internet connection via VLC. Depending on how good your internet connection is, results can vary. Stuff like this is a very exciting addition to the default camera capabilities of Raspberry Pi single board computers. Hopefully, this will get you on track with this new camera package. I have found the default settings have produced even clearer images than the old package by default, which is really nice to see. So with that, until next time, stay cozy.